So I've now got the bilge blower set up down on Rocket and um, I thought I might make a video just to go over not so much the configuration of them but more the wiring than anything. Um, so I'll just show you where they are. I've put them just under the four deck there coming out of that clamshell vent. Uh, there's one either side. Uh, so that one runs down and aft under the floor to just underneath the fuel tank and then that one runs just to underneath the engine in the bottom of the bilge um, the thing i kind of figured with bilge blowers is that they're a potentially life-saving thing but uh, only if you remember to put them on and i'd imagine that probably most people get in the boat and start the engine without necessarily remembering to run the bilge blowers first so uh, what I've done on these is wired them on a time delay relay so that when you turn the ignition on they automatically run for 30 seconds um, from the point the ignition is turned on. So I'll show you how that goes. And then they're also on a bypass switch, so if you want them to run permanently, you just flick this toggle down. And they'll just run permanently from there on. So um, it's kind of a forced operation, basically. They either run for a minimum of 30 seconds when you first put the ignition on, or they run permanently. Um, there's no kind of off mode, so... Um, it sort of forces you to to run them really which i thought was quite a good sort of safety feature um so i'll just show you i've done a little circuit diagram so i'll just show you uh how that's done so basically you've got your ignition switch here um, which then feeds the system and uh this relay is basically um just a standard automotive time delay relay so the kind of thing that you'd have on like a demister for a car windscreen something like that um, so when the coil is livened up, um, it runs for however long you set the timer and then shuts off. Um, the relay that I've got, I think you can set it from 0 to 60 seconds. So I've just got that set for uh, for 30 seconds at the moment. So you can see you've got the, uh, the normally open contact there. So when the relay um, becomes live, it sends power through and turns your blower motor on. And then once the timer's run out, it goes back to the normally closed um, but then if you want to bypass that this just pulls the live from the other side of the relay and just runs the blower permanently so you've just basically got those two modes where it's either on a timer and then off or um, it runs permanently um, the other thing I did think is that if you wanted to um, get a bit more kind of strict with this is that you could feed uh, the rest of the ignition or even your engine start switch from this normally closed contact. So what that would mean was that it wouldn't physically let you start the engine until that time has run out and the contact has closed again. Um, I personally didn't want to do it that way because I thought there's going to be the odd eventuality where you're sort of off and on with the ignition all the time, uh, perhaps if you're messing around with the engine and you don't necessarily want to wait for that timer to run out each time. Um, but it's just what I thought was quite a good system to sort of uh, remind you to run them every time. Uh, what I'll do is I'll make this schematic um, available as a free download on the website. So I'll put the link in uh, the description for that um, so you can download it and use it if you like. So uh, there we go, just a quick overview of the wiring of the bilge blowers.